And of course, you know, uh, welcome all of you to the dynamics. So, before starting the official summary, could I ask Jeremy Hunt to say just a few words? Um, I have to make sure I give the right speech now. <laughs> uh, like the wrong one. I know you've heard it all before, so I, uh, I won't do that. Um, Ambassador. Uh, Greg, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here. I'm sorry I'm only here for a very short time. And um, I just really want to say two things. Uh, the first is that, of course, with Brexit, uh, it is a time of uncertainty about the relations between the UK and our great friends in the EU, like Italy. And I want you to know that all of us in the UK are absolutely committed to maintaining the very strong bonds of trade, diplomacy and friendship that have been so important in the history of Europe over the last 75 years. And uh, the proudest moment of my time as Foreign Secretary, a very remarkable moment, was actually at the D-Day commemorations when I stood watching them with not just President Trump but also Angela Merkel. And to me, that symbolized what is possible when the countries of Europe work together. And um, I don't think I'm just speaking for myself. I think whoever takes over as Prime Minister will be committed to making sure that those bonds of friendship continue. And um, it's so wonderful to be here to celebrate that friendship with Francesco and Maurizio. I've never actually been to an English knighthood ceremony, so it's a, a great <laughs> pleasure to an Italian one first, but both Francesco and Maurizio uh, have had the most extraordinary lives, uh, incredibly distinguished service in, in journalism and in business, uh, both of you in philanthropy and the wonderful things that you've done in so many other fields, and I'm very proud to know both of you, um, but I'm also very proud that your honour symbolizes that great friendship between the UK and Italy and that central to the work you've done to earn this honor tonight has been uh, the building of bridges between the nations of the world and in the world we're in now and the world that I see as Foreign Secretary that building of bridges between countries is one of the most important things that anyone can do so I would like to ask you just to show your appreciation uh, for the first time and many times this evening to Francesco and Maurizio for the incredible honour and the richly deserved honour that they're receiving this evening. Um, and under, uh, under Maurizio, the chairmanship, uh, 
try to speak up now a global company uh, in the many countries, giving jobs to many people, especially, I should say, in, uh, in, this, uh, in this country. He also created the Tratus Academy, which shows, of course, his, uh, his interest uh, in, uh, in, uh, in promoting, in nurturing and promoting, um, promoting um, innovation. Uh, well, he's a member of the Italian community, as we were telling the first secretary before, it's a very large uh, Italian community, we estimate approximately 700,000 uh, people. And uh, uh, Maurizio, you are a prime example of what the Italian community, what the Italian people uh, are, and what they do, the contribution that actually they have been giving to this country and to the relationship between, between uh, uh, Italy and, uh, and, uh, and the UK. You are also a member of the Italian uh, Chamber of, uh, uh, of Commerce. Uh, actually, then you received in 2016, I think, another word from the uh, given by the Italian um, Chamber of Commerce, the Keynes Ruff uh, uh, Award, again for uh, you know your contribution to uh, fostering uh, the relationship between our two um, two countries. Uh, I, I don't think I can say much more. I mean, the presence here of so many distinguished uh, uh, guests, you know, the, the, the two Secretary of State, members of Parliament, uh, business, uh, uh, friends, is actually uh, from definitely, you know, the best evidence of what you have done, what you have achieved in, uh, in, uh, in these uh, uh, this, uh, this years that you've been uh, working here, and between here and, uh, and the Italy. So you really fully and uh, uh, you fully deserve, you know, the, the night of the Cavalierato in La Repubblica Italiana, and I have to say, it gives me a special a pleasure, a special honor to be the one to actually see this So, congratulations, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Baroness, their, uh, their presence, uh, Baroness uh, Emma, Baroness de Ver, and Baroness Jenkinson, and uh, yeah, was, was here. And all of you, um, as uh, has been already said, so I don't want to really to invest more of that uh, of this uh, of your time. I really appreciate this uh, award, not only for my person that. Uh, I, I got all these uh, um, issues of learning as I'm this, uh, was uh, born with the gift that is dyslexia. But uh, I really appreciate that for all the Italians that we work here and the, where we show the love of this country and our regional country, uh, Italy and Britain. Sometimes I make confusion between the two. <laughs> so I really appreciate, thanks a lot, Ambassador. In particular, thanks uh, to have received that uh, on behalf of the President of the Republic, Mattarella, that I esteem. In particular, I, oh, I also want to say thanks to all of you, really, to all my friends, to the General Council of Milani, but also to all the friends that are here. I cannot, uh, I know I know all of you 50 that you are here, but I cannot you know, name all of you. I really would like, and uh, and that's all, really. I just want to say, well, to say thank you also on behalf of my wife and four daughters, that they have decided to, to stay to the seaside because, <laughs> <laughs> because we are in democracy and that's an evidence. And, but my wife said that as soon as she will be back in August time. We'll have another ceremony. No, we'll just <laughs> <laughs> But thanks again. Okay. Now, Francesco. 
to you. I, I uh, actually I met Francesca the first time even before uh, I, I arrived to, to London, and it was actually this same uh, embassy you may uh, you may when you see you may remember. And uh, I was at the time particularly impressed with the fact that you were such an extraordinary pianist. And uh, you could have said, Cavariato just for that. I think you, obviously there are many more, uh, many more reasons for, um, for, for this. You are one of the most respected Italian uh, journalists. Um, you have been uh, uh, working uh, in newspapers, including the Times. Uh, and with press agency, you've been with uh, uh, with ANSA since 2000, uh, uh, 2001 as a foreign correspondent in this uh, country, in uh, in uh, in Germany and in Argentina. If I'm not if I'm not uh, uh, wrong. Now you are the uh, parliamentary uh, chief of the uh, um, of uh, correspondent in uh, chief correspondent in Rome of uh, of ANSA. So basically, Francesco. He uh, can tell you everything you need to know about Sudan politics. Mm. Which is everything you don't need to know. He would definitely tell you. I mean, he has been he has been known all along his career for being uh, for being not only very competent, very knowledgeable, but uh, um, you know, very objective, very candid sometimes, very challenging. And that's those are these qualities that have been particularly appreciated. And for this reason, as for many others, you've truly, truly deserved to be Cavaliere uh, della Repubblica Italiana. And uh, it's, uh, it's really remembering the first time that we were playing the piano and singing together. It's a real pleasure for me you know, to be the one. Thank you. Thank you. Very short. I mean, I always got this problem with the microphones. They're always too wide for me. Anyway, it's <laughs> I mean, but, 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 what can we do? I mean, we have to just hold the handicap of the resource. Um, I'm very happy to be here, and I'm honoured and privileged uh, to have to have received this award, uh, which I consider an award uh, given by the president, by President Mattarella, not only to my person, but I'm just a child, but to uh, a certain kind of journalism which goes through the search of reality and goes through the papers instead of just running stories without having anything else to do. And uh, I'm really happy about this. And the only two things I want to say is, firstly, thank you to President Mattarella, to you, Ambassador, uh, to Maurizio, who wanted me to be together with him celebrating on this thing, and uh, to my father, who is not here, unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Uh, he's back in Sicily, but I'd love, love to meet you all. And to get to get my my fiance with mi sopporta e mi sopporta. <laughs> She's got to stand me and she supports me. And I want to leave you with a sentence which my mentor, President Cossiga, he was the president of the Italian Republic a long time ago, uh, always taught me. He always told me, Francesco, bisogna pensare grande per fare le cose in grande. Only those who think big can make great things. I believe. Uh, this sentence is going to be a kind of a memento for the all of us, coming from a big person, arriving you, being delivered to you by a very humble person who believes in his job and is honored to be here today. Thank you. Thank you, Francesco. Could I ask now, Secretary of State, Black Mark, if you'd like to say just a few words so we can. Well, as the toast didn't uh, <laughs> falls to the floor, this would be, uh, this would be terrible. Yeah. Can I say it is particularly appropriate that we have the, uh, the Foreign Secretary uh, introducing the proceedings, uh, and it's my great honour as the Business Secretary uh, to, uh, to bookend uh, the other side, because, uh, of course, for Francesco uh, and for Maurizio, um, they are people uh, who are associated very much 
with the bringing together uh, of our two countries in the warmth that is present in this room and the affection that is there, but also for the contribution uh, that both uh, have made uh, to our economic links uh, and our prosperity uh, between the two nations. Uh, whatever happens uh, in the weeks ahead, we know that our relationship that is, uh, that is personified uh, in these two great men is going to be more important than ever. Uh, and the fact that the, the depth of affection and a tribute to the achievements of both Francesco and Mauricio that is being celebrated and recognized here uh, today brings us together is a perfect example uh, of what we need to do uh, in the years ahead. I'm going to have a bit more to say uh, a bit later on, but I just want to uh, thank you, Ambassador, for inviting me to celebrate uh, the great success and the lifetime achievements uh, of two great men.